Right guys, so we've moved up to the new section of the cemetery here and there's a couple of very elaborate final resting places. So we're going to have a look at these. Margaret Dial, died in 2019, age 69. Beautiful grave. There's a couple of very fancy graves here you can see from the gypsy community and they really do look after their graves and spend a lot of money on them. So there's one there in front of us, Jerry Connors, who died in 1987, age 60. Beautiful monument on it there, look at that. One next door then here, Jack John Connors, died in 1998, age 42. Pedro Pio on it. Huge one here, the Cash family. Mickey Cash died in 1937. Beautiful flower arrangements on this. Pink colours. An old lady looks like passed away. Rest in peace. Have the Cash family here, Daniel, who died in 1975, age 14. Edward died in 1975, age 17. And William died in the same year, in the same month, age 12. So I think these people died tragically in a fire, I believe. I'm not quite sure. It's a beautiful grave. Sad. So guys, we're coming up to the grave of Andy Connors, who was murdered in August 2014. He was a crime figure in the Dublin area. He was buried in a gold plate casket worth 28,000 euros. And you can just see here on his grave, the monument above cost 50,000 euros. He was also buried with a 40,000 euro Rolex gold watch and many other valuables. When they were burying Andy, there was 24 hour security watch in case grave robbers would steal the valuables from the final resting place. It's now covered in lavish marble, as you can see. Really elaborate graves here, guys. Look at this one. The Cash family. All in marble. Statues. Lovely gateway in. 
You can see some cars inside vans. Mercedes car. Lovely right. statues. A van here with a horse box for horses pulling it. And a lovely plaque there with two hurls on it. World's greatest old dad says from your loving grandson. Old dad means old dad means in Ireland uh, grandfather, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So these are just some of the graves I wanted to show you here in the new cemetery, St. Michael's Cemetery in Gorey. And how they're looked after. Right guys, I'll finish up here in St. Michael's Cemetery in Gorey. I hope you enjoyed all these very elaborate graves here in the cemetery. So for me here, take care, God bless, and rest in peace to everybody that's here, and I'll talk to you all soon.